All right, we just want to clear a couple things up about Cuba. Um, the food, the food is good. It changes from day to day, so you might have to wait a day or two to find what you really like. Try everything out. Everything seems like you're not gonna like it, but there is a good flavor. There is good food in Cuba. You don't have to worry. Different resorts are gonna be different, everybody. So you're gonna take your chances if you go to a lower star hotel. The star ratings aren't the same as in any other resorts. If you get a four or five star in Cuba, it's not going to be a four or five star like in Mexico. Um, change and tipping. If you can possibly tip in Canadian or American, they're going to like it a lot more because that's what they really need. They don't really have a lot of access to American or Canadian funds. So if you give it to them, that's the best thing for them. Um, we were really warned about sand fleas before we came down here. I have not heard of anybody having bug bites on the beach. We brought a couple extra blankets and stuff to lay on. If you're laying on the chairs, laying on the beach sand, I don't think it's really gonna matter. We've never heard anybody complain. Seen lots of men and women just laying right on the sand for hours. And the only thing they complained about in the end was a bad sunburn. So another thing, obviously, if you're in the Caribbean, you're gonna have to bring a lot of sunscreen, lather up many times, bring the aloe gel, cause you will burn, guaranteed. It's gonna happen. Uh, what else? Uh, the resorts are beautiful. Just like any resort in the Caribbean, every resort is going to be different that way. The landscapes are beautiful. The gardeners work hard. Um, trading money. If you want to trade money, you're still better off to do it with the locals. You're going to get a way better rate. You're going to help them out. The banks, they don't really give you a good rate. If you're going to go out into town, I recommend that you get some Cuban pesos. If you're just going to stay at the resort, you do not need Cuban pesos. You can't leave the country with Cuban pesos, apparently. Well, you can, but it's not really used anywhere else around the world, so you're just going to be wasting your money unless you come back to Cuba. Uh, what else here? The nightlife is really good. Every resort we've been to here has amazing nightlife. Some are outdoors, some are indoors, so depending on what you like, you can usually bounce between the resorts, get into their discos. There's a couple discos in town. A lot of good restaurants in town we found. By far the best we've been to was El Rancho. They had very good lobster, very good everything we tried actually. Very fair pi uh, priced, sorry about that. Had a bug fly in my mouth. Um, other than that, we've tried the restaurant in the cave, La Gruta El Vino, I believe it was called. It was very good, but uh, the price the price didn't really kind of, kind of, you don't really get what you pay for there. It's a good place, but you're paying more for the cave experience. So you can try it out. You can have your cave experience. We would probably skip that one. We've been there once, probably wouldn't go again. It's good for pictures. We went there with Mary and Tim. Had a great time because of the good friends. But uh, just for food experience, I would stick to El Rancho if you're looking for seafood. There's a couple other seafood restaurants that we never really got a chance to figure out where they were or how to get there. They were pretty far from the main place where we're staying here. And the tipping, like I was kind of touching on there before, the tipping is going to be very easy. You don't have to give these people much. Back home in Canada, if you give 20%, the waitress might say thank you and appreciate it. Here you give them one US dollar, two US dollars, they love you for it. And they really, need this money guys they work so hard they we've heard that they make about 20 us dollars a month so they have to buy everything they have to pay rent it's crazy if you think about it that way so definitely give them a tip it takes one tip and you'll get exceptional service throughout the whole week bathrooms in town you have to pay a dollar to use them if there's an attendant around um Try not to. You can usually go to a restaurant and use their bathrooms for free. Not a lot of toilet seats in the bathrooms, which we did kind of feel weird about. But it is what it is. You're not going to bring a toilet seat from home, so get used to it. Um, the streets are definitely safe. We've walked the streets at all hours of the night, morning, evening. No problems. Everybody is super friendly. We ended up tipping some guy that cleans the streets. He literally takes palm leaves and sweeps the streets. We tipped him a dollar just because he was friendly and we had a dollar to spare. We were walking back to a resort and uh, a 
couple days later he ran across the road and met us and he said thank you very much he remembered us kind of shook our hand and was exceptionally pleased with that one dollar tip like i say back home if you don't tip them what they want you won't even get service so this is definitely a place to come if you want to uh have a cheaper holiday we spent eight days here for about eighteen hundred dollars which is very cheap flying from alberta canada uh, there's people from Toronto and Quebec here that are probably seven, eight hundred dollars a person, so you can easily get an exceptional experience for that price. Again, this is February, so if you're going to Mexico or Dominican Republic or Jamaica, you can easily double or triple that price, and you will get a little better food. I'm not gonna lie. Every time we've went to Mexico, the food was better than here. The drinks were a little better than here, but it is what it is. If you like a lot of rum. Most of the drinks are made with rum. Even the pina coladas, it's really hard to find vodka here. So pretty much everything is gonna have rum in it. And if you're not a big fan of that, they can do half rums, they can, there's lots of different things you can have, guys. And that pretty much wraps it up. If I think of anything else, we'll do another video, but this video is getting pretty long here, so I'll cut it short. But yeah, we got a couple more days here in Cuba. We're gonna enjoy it. Pretty much seen all we can do at the resorts. We've been in classic cars. We've taken the horse trolley. We've taken a whole bunch of things, eaten at many restaurants. We recommend if you come to Veradero, if you do not like the food, literally a two minute walk into town and you can have pretty much anything you want. And the prices for the seafood are amazing. Back home in Alberta, me and the wife can go to any restaurant like let's say red lobster and we can easily spend 120 dollars on drinks and some food here we can get drinks and twice the food for 40 50 dollars it's just amazing so we highly recommend it we will be back i uh don't fear anything about coming to cuba you're gonna have a great time guys a lot of it's about the people you come with so enjoy and we'll see you on our next video thank you for watching